Right, so I've done it again. I've started the video off with no audio. Far out. Right, so let's try again. So, just off Port Kembla Harbour here. Uh, fishing for slimies at the moment, trying to get some bait. I have had uh, three or four. Just dropped one at the boat. We've got four quality uh, liveys in there. Um, I've uh, put a few chicken pellets in the uh, burly tank there, just to try and attract them a bit closer to the boat if I can. Just to leave a very slight burly trail. Keep topping them up every now and again. So the wind's actually blowing a bit more than it said it would. Typical, yesterday I didn't come out, it was supposed to be blowing a gale. It's actually a lot calmer than, uh, than it had forecast. Today, there's a southerly blowing, and at the moment, 10.30, it's probably a little bit up on what it said it was gonna be. Um, now is actually our prime bite time, according to all the apps and stuff, but uh, doing uh, some stuff for the family this morning. I haven't managed to get out early. And he got on the water around about 9.30. I got to the boat ramp at 9.30. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the baits I've got. I've got four nice, good sized slimies. That should see me for today. I've got jigs and stuff like that. And I've got some old bait that I can use if I get desperate. So uh, I think we might punch out for a bit. See what we can find out there. I've actually found a really nice patch of slimies here. Um, the reef fishing wasn't going too good. I thought let's just try and load up on some bait if I can. And uh, oh, that one's actually a yakka. And there's yakkas and slimies here. He's foul, that one. That's going to be a nightmare. End I, my re uh, rod's just come off. still be able to bring them up and then I can put the eye on later. Right under the boat, quite uh, close to the boat. There's one, this one will be a slimy by the way it's going. Yep, not such a big one, that one. Some nice, <laughs> some nice slimy mackerels. Excellent bait. There's one on. Uh, if I just give it a minute, it might load up with some friends. Usually you get that kind of, oh, yep, there's quite a string of them here, I think. Get that panicky action of some fish, and then they get attracted to the panic. And then you end up with a full string like this. <laughs> it's 
There's only two on there. And they're good, good sized slimies there. more of these and I might go for the kingfish. Certainly don't need too many more of them. I missed the take but I just had something take the squid treks from mid-water. Bit of an odd, I'll take that. I don't know what it is. A few head shakes. Feels like it. What have we got here? Oh, that's a new one for me. That's a new species. Oh, swell's picked up a bit. Almost like a, like an amberjack. He's got a spike on his dorsal fin. So, let me just show that one to you. Oh look, they keep doing that to me every time. I'm going to put you back in a minute mate, look at that. that looks like a little amberjack. Cool, first one of them. There you go mate, thank you. The swell has suddenly picked up wasn't anything like this 20 minutes ago. Not even. I have moved a little bit further out, so it could be that. I don't plan on staying here too long. I've only got until around about 2.30 max, so I might stay here another 10, 20 minutes, see if I can pick anything up, if, and then head to the islands, just fish the island for a kingy for the last hour or something. I think it's time to go and try the islands. Let's go see if there's any kingfish on the tube. All right, we are on again. After a bit of a camera malfunction, I've just landed two really nice sized kingies and I think I've got the camera working again now. I think it's playing. Hopefully the audio is on. We seem to have hit a bit of a purple patch of kingfish here. So I've just landed one 72 and then I believe an 85 which is a PB for me. And we have another one on here. Hoping that the camera's on me. Not been very lucky with the camera work lately. Oh, it's a good white fish again. Try and keep him off the bottom. On. Oh, been a bit hectic. We've got the 
bilge pump running because I was just cleaning the blood off the deck. Nice fish. Not good yet. But hey, special thanks to my wife Louise because I was supposed to be picking my daughter up from work. She's coming back from a trip with her friends, Lou, and she's going to be back in time. So she's given me the opportunity to be out for a couple of extra hours. And these are the results. Another very nice kingfish. That's another beauty. Wow, very good. All right, hold him up with the camera. It's a very nice fish. Look at that, what a beauty. Let's have a measure. He goes another 80. That's another 80 centimeter kingfish. Excellent stuff. We're glad I caught those extra mackerel earlier because I need them. So, slimy mackerel this size. Hooks through the nose. Lively mackerel. Good healthy fish. So, just thought I'd drop a jig. <laughs> Gotta start this camera a bit earlier, right? And I'm reeling it in thinking that I'll swap. I'll swap to a squid tracks. And on the wind up, I get talk. And I'm looking at that thing there, wondering whether that's going to go again, the live bait. Because that's just swam away from the boat quite a bit. Just a rat to find rats on the jigs. many fish. I'm saying got a drop in fish. That one goes 60. 60 centimeter kingy. 65 is the keeper size. Off you go mate. So I was going to change my jig but I just caught a rat so maybe not. Maybe back down again with this one. So interesting, I've been sort of jigging wine, jig wine, jig wine, jig wine. That kingy took it just winding. Right, so straight up like a fleeing fish, I guess. And that seemed to be enough to attract the bite. Bottom. So it was just jig, 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 like this. And I thought, nah, I'll just wind it up. And I wound up like this, and whack, I got hit. 
Oh, the day's turned out beautiful now. Absolutely magic. That wind's dropped right off. It's flattened out. It's half past two. That got took on the bottom. So if that's a fish, which I think it is, it's not going to be a kingy. It's a dead weight. My guess is that this is going to be a red rock cod. And up he comes. That's exactly what he is. Tiny one too. Now last time I tried to de-hook one like this, he stung me. So I don't know if this is a good thing to do. Doing it this way. Just trying to jiggle him off. There you go. Good lad. Didn't sting me that time. So we've just hit a tiny little rat king kingfish. Just on the jig. He's gonna do a few runs here before. Hopefully he didn't break me off. He's going ballistic. Come on, mate. Come on. I'll let you have your fun. All right, mate. All right, it's time to come to the net. Come on. You get ready. Come on. <laughs> the toughest rat kingfish. Putting up a silly fight. Well done, mate. Good fight, buddy. Come on. Fairly small rat. Probably about 50. There he goes. Oh, I think I might have something on the live bait here. This looks promising. Oh yes, most definitely. There we go. Oh. Oh, it's full. It's come off. I've lost him, I think. Unless he's coming for the boat. Well, he had a good go at him. Let's get that back in there. Make sure his hook's on properly. I just swallowed him, but the hook didn't set. Yeah, now, is a kingy gonna take him? Now he's not swimming. I'm gonna change him for a better bait. I think, because he's done his day. Fresh one on. Okay. He's a lot healthier. Can go for a swim. Let's put that in there. 
away from the motors. Oh, well, that was a shame we dropped that one. Decent fish, I think. Yep. Yep, fish on. On the squid tracks. Oh, that one feels slightly bigger. Big egg shakes. Such good fun these kingfish when they're biting. Really good fun to catch. Even the rats. You know they they put up such a good fight. Again, you know this one's around the 50 centimetre mark. Back the hooks. It's good. Another uh, nice little rat sized kingfish. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give him a measure just to see how, how big he is, but I'd say around about that 50 centimetre mark. And where does he go? He goes 55. 55. He's about a 55 centimetre fish. What's up there? That's the problem with live baits, is that they do tend to go on walkabouts quite a bit. Oh, just saw a kingy. Follow that. <laughs> Only a little one, but. Don't be surprised if that gets taken by a kingfish. Saw it follow it from the boat. That might have been why it went under the boat. Might have been for protection. Here we go. Look, it's fleeing from something. Now, I don't think that kingfish that followed it was big enough. It's definitely on the run from something. Look, the line's gone all the way down here from the back of the boat. Let's see what happens. then yep yep see that one's another same size sort of rat Should have put a headset on actually because <laughs> the water's really clear and you can see these fish almost on the bottom. Come on mate. Try and bully you a bit more. Slightly bigger that one, I think. Not much in it, just slightly bigger. Ah. 
slightly bigger specimen, I think. Give him a measure. Far out. He's just under 60. And a pain in the ass. In the burley there. Kingfish are patrolling around in the burley. There's one. You see him? He's coming around the back of the motor. Chasing a trevally. There's a few out the back there now. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. This might be dangerous. We'll be bringing this soft plastic. They might hit that. This has only got 20 pound on, I think. So if I hit into a kingfish on this, highly unlikely I'll land it. Might be 30 pound, I might get away with it. Yep, <laughs> I saw him take it. <laughs> All right. Tighten that drag up a bit. <laughs> what a take that. I saw him come to the top and take that. It was awesome. Not a bad sized kingy actually. Ah. Decided to wake up. He's right under the boat. Come on, mate. around there See if I can lift him in oh. spat the hook perfect timing let's throw that out That was pretty cool. Little kingy. These ones are much smaller. The ones that are coming up to the burley in the boat. I wish you'd sit still. Mate, come on. I want to put you back. I want to throw you back. All right. Uh, got a little bit of fun kingfish. Put him back. All right, so I'm back home now uh, after a really good session, actually, out on the kingfish today. Um, had a few uh, uh, memory card dramas, so uh, didn't really get a proper outro, and unfortunately I missed the two best fish I caught today. I'll take some photos, I'll uh, show you the catch today or what I brought home. So I'm back now and the boat's all clean, and uh, thanks everybody for watching. Um, I do hope you enjoy the content, and please, if you do enjoy it, please sort of like and subscribe, it does really help. Anyway, all the best, I hope everybody's getting out there and uh, catching a few fish. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Well, here we go. Here's today's catch. And I'm gutted that I missed these top two. No video for these. But the biggest kingfish, 85 centimetres. Then the one below it was about 83. And then the final one, I think, I think he was 75. Something like that. But three pretty special fish for me. These three fish here are my three PBs. But that one's the biggest, 85. That's my new personal best.